Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So I thought what we could do today is play with some of this um, packing paper. I had so much fun doing that little booklet that I did with the craft colored paper that I decided to play with um, some of this. I think I might make a few pages in my next journal out of this craft um, wrapping type or masking type paper. I get mine in a roll. I got this, I believe, at Lowe's. Um, I know that Amazon has had it. I don't know if they still have it because uh, once you get a roll, I mean, <laughs> it takes a really long time to use it all up. So I've had mine for quite a while. I've even wrapped gifts with it. I have a bigger, longer roll too. So between both, I have a lot. But anyways, um, you should be able to find it fairly easily. If not, use brown paper bag, um, whatever. We're kind of just making a little bag, so you could probably do it out of an actual like little lunch sack or something like that too. So whatever floats your boat, right? You can do, you can use. All right, so what I have done is I took a piece off and it was um, originally about um, eight and a half by 11 sort of I mean and this doesn't matter it's all going to depend on the size of what you want to make because or the size of your journal or whatever so anyways this particular one right now is about four and three quarters and with those ends folded up it's about six and a half long so all I've done is taken that piece of paper and I folded it in half first and then I um, folded the bottom pockets up then I cut down the center you know to separate these two pockets so they're not attached anymore then I folded this back over folded this one up so now I have a pocket here and a pocket here both with torn edges and then I um, folded my side over about I don't know half an inch or so it, I mean it doesn't matter again it's just going to make your gusset so however big you want your it for your bag to be that's all it is and um, so I'll glue that put that down these will get glued on the sides and this will get glued on the sides and the old pocket pocket and the big pocket here and you could do a pocket behind as well so that's all it is and if you already have a brown paper bag you could just you know go with that you don't even have to make your own kind of thing so so how y'all doing? I hope you're good and ready for Christmas and all of that. I probably will only have um, today's video, which will be Tuesday for you guys, and um, Wednesday, which is my Marguerite Miller, my last Marguerite Miller for this year. Um, and then you probably will not see me again until, I don't know, sometime after Christmas. So, and I'm not even exactly sure because I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Um, I will still probably do some videos that following week. I may do a couple, but uh, it probably won't be like my normal schedule. I probably won't go back to my normal schedule until after the new year, because I'm going to have my aunt here after the new year and everything. So anyhow, it's just going to be whatever... <laughs> Whatever happens, basically. See, I tried to trim that to make it even, and now I made it more uneven. So I'm just going to stop cutting. <laughs> Maybe once I, I do some collaging or whatever on it, then it'll, it'll end up looking fine. So yeah, so that's the plan, or not plan, or whatever you want to call it. So I've just printed out a few of the pages from my uh, Winter Past digital download and I thought I would go ahead and use those. I want to put a little gesso on here first. That's why I got this white paper out. I don't know what I'm doing, but hey. And then I will do some other stuff to it. That's why I had it opened up. I forgot what I was even doing. So yeah, hope you're all doing good, and ready, and excited. I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm sure there's still a few things. Obviously, I have to do. I need to run to the store at the end of the week more and get a few things. We're going to do, um, we're going to have pork carnitas for Christmas dinner, just for something different. Um, you know, we did the turkey thing at Thanksgiving, and my son kind of requested that we have pork carnitas. So that's what we're going to do. And I think we'll... 
he knows somebody that makes like homemade tamales and they're making them and selling them. So we'll probably get some of those too. I don't make tamales. I don't know how to do that, but I don't really need to do the back, but I might as well. It'll just give it a little strength, especially up around these top edges where um, cards and things will be going in and out of there. So yeah, it'll just help keep that bag hopefully from ripping super easy. I mean, it's, it's fairly thick craft wrap, but just in case. So yeah, we're doing something a little different this year. It'll be fun. We usually stick pretty traditional, but I don't know. He just said that and I was like, oh, that would be kind of something different and fun to do. So that's what we're doing. I'm probably gonna have to stop and dry this, obviously. I need these sides painted because I won't be able to do much else until it's dry. So does everybody stay pretty traditional for Christmas or do you guys sometimes veer off? We were always super traditional in my house growing up. I mean, you always knew exactly we were <laughs> having turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, pretty much. That was always the thing and it was awesome. But I get, I am, that's not my favorite dinner to eat or cook. <laughs> so I sometimes like, you know, want to do something else. I mean, somebody else is cooking it. I am not complaining. Trust me, it's delicious, but it's just not. If I have my druthers. Okay, so that should help that. I'm going to get this dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got it all back. And just so you know, Aiden is in the room. She's hanging out with me because she's done with school. Yay! Yay, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so she'll be around every so often now. Yay. It'll be over too fast, though. Yeah, it will be over too fast. It's always over too fast. Uh. But she did good. She got all A's. Woohoo! It's not an easy thing to do. And she started off the semester very rough. Aren't you glad you stuck with it? Yeah. Because of... Um, the camera situation and everything. It was a pain. It was a pain. It was crazy is what it was. But you did good. With all your challenges. And your drawing challenges when you were upset because you felt like you couldn't even draw an apple and all that kind of it's stuff. It's really funny to look at my big sketchbooks and see what they looked like before like when I first started the class and after, and there's like a world of difference. Yeah, it's not amazing how that works out. So awesome. Perseverance. A lot to be said for that. Okay, so I just glued that uh, side down so that it sticks, and then um, I'm going to do collaging first, and then I will glue these pockets down. Poor Theron's at school taking finals. And he he left early this morning. Aiden didn't even hear him leave. No. The road right outside my dorm room got me used to noise. Yeah. I don't hear a thing now. Yeah, her dorm's pretty noisy, where it's located right on kind of one of the main roads at the university. <laughs> so it's pretty much nonstop there. And uh, it took her a while to be able to sleep in that, because it's, it's fairly quiet out here where we're at. I mean, there's moments where it's not, but it's pretty rare. So, but she, uh, she did it. That's kind of like her first real semester because last year she was at the university too, but, um, you know, she lived at home and 
it was everything was still COVID. They really did a lot of Zoom classes mostly. And um, even when she was in class, they all had to sit like six to 12 feet away from each other and just all that. So that first year for her didn't really feel like a first year. <laughs> Of the online classes too were very like neat and everything because they were just trying to, you know, adjust. Yeah. But it really did me dirty at the beginning of this semester because it was quite an adjustment actually having deadlines and having to show up to class. And I, I got so used to like just sitting up in bed and turning on the Zoom call instead of actually getting <laughs> up and going to a physical place. Yeah, know? that whole, that whole. It makes a difference. Yeah. It's an adjustment. That did nobody any favors no. as far as I can tell. The whole lockdowns and. It made everybody lazy. I feel like. Me and Alex live in Tucson? Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. I'm going to Tucson. I know you're going to Tucson. Aiden's going to Tucson, Arizona for um, a football game. One of the bowl games. So she's, she was just like, my niece just moved back down to Arizona. So yeah, you'll have to contact her. I got lots of hours to spare. Apparently. That's true. So you probably could see her. Especially if she comes to you. Because mm -hmm. I have no other mode of transportation. Well, yeah. Have to come see me. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Very true. I need another color of paper. Let me grab that. Sorry, everybody. I gotta get a blue piece of paper. Flying ahead. I know, right? <laughs> I really stink at that. I always think I have everything, and then right as I'm doing something, I'm like, oh, I want. I want the other thing. Aiden's a good planner ahead or so she can tell me that. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're better than I am. <laughs> you're a little more organized than I am. Actually, a lot more organized than I am. I used to be better, but as I've gotten older, I'm just kind of a train wreck. Yeah, so this is, uh, I think this is food dyed paper. My niece did all this colored paper for me. Uh, and if you're looking for colored paper, you can uh, check out Etsy. Just put in like dyed copy paper or dyed paper or whatever. I'm sure you'll find lots of people are doing all kinds of cool stuff with natural dyes, food dyes, um, yeah, you name it. It's it's there on the good old Etsy. So I'm basically doing this almost the same way I did the collage pages to start with for this digital. And I just like to put all different stuff when I do these winter ones, which is kind of fun. I don't use that in the digital because that's Tim Holtz. <laughs> that would be bad. So, uh, that's not in there, but that's just one of his like tissues in the roll things. These things. What's this one called? Uh, typist. So, but he has all different ones. Sure, y'all know that. I like this one just because it's got all the numbers and stuff on it. So, are you going to draw something, babe? <laughs> she doesn't know what to do with herself now. She's lost because she's actually got some free time. I know, right? Oh my goodness. You're roughing everything. Okay, I have some frames. <laughs> um. So these are in my shop now, at least they were when I started making this video. I think I have four left, something like that. So, uh, and I will be cutting more. I just don't know how many will get cut this week. So I apologize. Just got, you know, life stuff going on. So these are really fun, these open frames and this all started I don't even know who started this Rachel at Roxy Creations maybe I don't know um, but anyway it's thing and it, it's very fun to use those because then you can see more 
of your collage or whatever it is you're working on. I just like the that concept is great. My stomach is growling like crazy, Aiden, and we just ate. Or it's just not maybe not growling, but making noise. How's that? Didn't want grilled cheese, apparently. I'm anxious to see how Theron feels about his test. He's been stressing. He has been stressing, and he normally does not do that, but he... Uh, has struggled a little bit with his statistics class, which is kind of odd because he normally has no struggles with numbers. So it's a little bit weird for him. I think I'm going to use a Tim Holtz person just because I didn't cut all of mine out yet. I just haven't gotten a chance to do that. Plus, it's fun to have a few other things on there. And these are so cute, all these. Ones with the sort of winter look. I think I'll put her right there. And these are new ones. As far as I know, they're his Noel uh, paper dolls. So It was very hard to get these. <laughs> I think I had them on order for about uh, two months. I didn't, and they really didn't get here in time to do Christmas journals, but I'll use a lot of them probably in this journal that I'm going to do. Oh, I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. I just started playing and didn't explain everything. Yeah, it's nice to have Aiden home. You what? Fun racers, Grant. <laughs> She's, she didn't like her eraser. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's annoying. That makes you want to punt. So what I'm going to do is another one of these uh, fabric journals that my aunt uh, makes. And I have a whole bunch of these still in my shop, so if you are looking for a fabric journal and these ones are meant to be like they come unsewn because they're meant to be sewn in whatever way that you like them sewn so i do have some christmas ones left but they're in my um craftycatusa.com shop so you'll have to get them there but it's i'll leave a, like, a link in the description box so you can see you know get there easily but anyway, you'll get um, three pieces of fabric going this direction and three pieces of fabric going this direction that are stacked on top of each other that you can cut and make pockets like I did for the um, fall journal. Let me show you real quick. So this is the fall one that I did. So it flips open like this. I cut one layer of fabric here and I stitched around it before I stitched it closed so that I'd have a pocket here. And so that just tucks in there. And then when you open it, I cut a big frame there. A picture could go there. I made another cut and put, you know, made a pocket. Just added some cool fabric clusters. And if you're better at stitching, you could do kind of like a, a buttonhole stitch or something. I'm just not, <laughs> I am not a seamstress by any stretch of the imagination. So, um, but anyway... I put little pockets here for little tags to go into. Then you can leave like a big pocket open if you want on the side to make some big journaling cards go into that. Um, I forgot, and I still haven't done it, which it'll probably never happen, but anyway. There are two small pockets here, right here. And you can see I backed that little tiny pocket with just another piece of fabric that I had. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's just another piece of fabric that I stitched back there so that, you know, it's not open to the other 
side, but then there's a pocket here and then there's another pocket here. And I did the same with this little pocket. I put a piece of fabric behind. So, I mean, you can do any number of things. And then I just did a Christmas one and that one um, was for someone, for a customer. So I don't have that one anymore, but like, see I, this middle flap has um, something in here. So you can have that as a pocket. And then there's another pocket, isn't there? Another one? Yes, right here. And there's another journaling card there, tucked in to the fabric. So you can make all kinds of pockets like this or the Christmas one that I did, I stitched uh, batting in the inside uh, so that it was like all kind of, you know, felt like a quilt basically. And I just added some pockets on top. I didn't cut into the fabric at all. So if you don't like the look of, you know, like the fabric being cut into here, you can just add pockets on top, kind of like I did here. So there's just a lace pocket, a fabric pocket, and another fabric pocket with a journaling card. I mean, there's a million things you can do and they're meant to be, you know, done like that. So um, however you like them. So that's why they're not all stitched together already. So anyway, that's a fall one. There's still, I think one or two of those. And then there's all kinds of wintry ones, kind of like this one, or um, ones with birds and winter look. And then there's Christmas ones as well. So yeah, they're super fun, but um, they come like this. So just the pieces of fabric basically. And they're in layers. The only one that's um, stuck down is the top two layers are stitched together with the button there. So, um, you know, that doesn't come apart, but the rest of it will all come apart. So you can sew different layers at different times, you know, depending on how you want to set it up. So I hope that makes sense. But anyway, they're at my craftycatusa.com shop, not on my Etsy. So if you're looking for them and you're like, I can't find them on the Etsy, they're not there. They're at the um, craftycatusa.com. All right. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use my... Um, winter past digital download in it. Okay, so let's put some more, something colorful maybe down here. Some blue or something. I like that old paper clip mark, but I just want this blue color here, just a little bit of it. I wonder if I should just, maybe I'll just cover in that area where there isn't the the white paint. Not that you have to cover up the craft paper either, but so yeah, so that's the plan for the new year is to do this winter journal. piece of something else. That's handwriting that I like. I spotted that down in the bottom of that bag of junk. I do like to use the gold here and there. This one's all, it made it look really old because it was jammed down in the bottom of that bag. <laughs> Very cool. And I do like this too. I thought about doing a calendar journal, which I probably should do that first, but I just really wanted to play with this winter. So it's August, but well, it doesn't matter. It just as fun handwriting back there. So did you find something to draw? Yeah, I'm just sketching a person. A person. <laughs> just sketching a person. 
She's gotten so good. It's crazy how fast you like did that. So, took me forever and I still not great at it. She got so tired of drawing um, still lifes. She was pretty over that whole thing. But I think, you know, there's a reason they do that. And I think she figured it out, huh? Because mm -hmm. she got pretty darn good by the end. That repetitive thing when you think, oh, this is so boring and dumb. But it turns out to be good thing. <laughs> I can't believe you don't even have to work today. It's a miracle. I would just cry. I would, <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> I'm so done. Uh, poor girl. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were about crying yesterday when you had to leave. <laughs> that place. Yeah, it gets to you. Maybe we'll do January. Um, this one's old. You can buy these with um, current dates. I don't have one with the current dates on it. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So, um, I just don't usually put the date on there. I just use the January or February or whatever that kind of thing. Just because I like the look of it. But you can get them with current dates. Oh! Knocking everything down. And you could choose to do these little dots in a different color. I kind of like to do them in the black because they are open circles. So to me, it kind of ends up looking like snow. But um, I know that, you know, you, you might prefer to do them like in blue or whatever. I just have to get it on the table. It's really more that I just like the look of it more than the what it's supposed to be kind of thing. Okay. I like that. I think that's good. So let's glue it up. I was gonna, I don't think I'll put anything really in there. Maybe just a little. No, I think I'll save that for something else. Just so you see a little peep of it here and there. Go this way. I love those little and hold people. That's why I put something kind of like that in the this digi um, and I have in the I have Blue Winter. Did I say this already? Aiden? Blue Winter. <laughs> I know. I can't remember what I said either. Um, That was last year's. Winter Wonder was the first year. But they're all in similar style and colors so you could use them together and then they all have old photographs. So it's kind of fun. So then when this comes up, you'll just see a little blue. I kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. And 
we can do a car or a journaling something to go on the inside since we've got time. So I didn't do too bad for planning. I only forgot the blue paper. <laughs> Which for me is pretty good. Okay. So now I need to figure out what to put in there. Yeah, I think that really helps kind of stiffen that paper up to paint it first with a little gesso. I have these that are already glued together, so these will be good. So I can tear them down to the size I want. Sorry if you see any bad words here. thinner than that. Okay. So that should fit down in there just fine. And then I'll put a little fabric tab on it. Okay, I definitely want to use this piece because that was from a collage I did before. But I like the look of it. What was your favorite class this year, Aiden? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you, en like, enjoy any of them? Like, I know it's hard because school's never, like, no, fun. No, it's never real fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I liked graphic design. Yes. Or my class. Well, I'm glad you like graphic design since that's what you're going into. <laughs> It'd be really bad if you were like, I really don't like that graphic design thing. It was a pain in the butt sometimes, but... Well, I think that's every class at some point. They all get to us somewhere along the line. Yeah. But if overall it was good, then... That kind of surprises me, because I would have thought you would have said one of the more art-type classes. I mean, that one was very artsy. Computer yeah, that's true. Once you once you got Dad's Mac, you were set. Yeah, before then I couldn't do anything. Drawing was fun at the end when I started the hang of it, but I still did not love sitting for two hours just drawing still lives. Yeah, I, I can see that. that well, and when you don't get to choose what you're drawing, I think that's, like, a huge thing, too. And I really don't like drawing upright on the easels. I don't. I, like, down on the table. Yeah, that's what I like, too. I don't like easels, either. I have a really nice easel, but... Because, like, for example, right now I'm standing. I like to be able to look down on it. I don't like to look out straight at it. Because I did paint on the easels when I was doing those, um... Paintings of the cars for that doctor, remember? That um, was on easels, but yeah, it's not my favorite either. I think I'm going to tear this edge off because it's too, there's not a whole lot happening there. Like all the good stuff's more over here. Or like... Do 
What was the favorite still life that you did? The skull. You did like the skull? Like the skull. Yeah, it turned out really cheese. cool. The cheese. The cheese, the, <laughs> the cheese wheels. The cheese wheels. He did some awesome cheese wheels. <laughs> did not like mugs or cups. Still cannot draw a mug or a cup. Yeah, isn't that funny? Something that seems so easy. Anything else but the mugs or the cups. I really found that round, like, um, tires when I was doing the cars. Tires, for some reason, are just no. <laughs> I'm not good at circles, as y'all have seen me try to cut them out or whatever. It just doesn't turn out right. They always, yeah, they always look wonky. But a mug and that kind of thing is sort of the same thing. You think, oh, that'll be super easy. Because when I did those teacups for the spill and tea digi, I'm like, oh, it'll be so easy to, like, paint some teacups. <laughs> nope. It's really not. Really just not easy. Yeah, the skull turned out really cool. I mean, granted, not really my thing, but. Yeah. It is around. huge. I don't know why they have you use those Mondo ones like that. Oh my gosh, those guys are funny. See me riding my bike with that bag on my shoulder. <laughs> Everyone was like, what is she doing? <laughs> Save me 20 minutes, okay? Yeah, she had a rider bike um, on campus with her big giant portfolio bag when she'd go to that class. Yeah. I really hated it, but it was really nice because it takes me five minutes to ride my bike opposed to 20 minutes of walking. Yeah, so. the bike is a whole lot quicker. I did this survey thing the other day for Boise State, though, and it asked me if, if I, they did a parking pass that was a little more expensive to be able to park anywhere on campus, would I pay for it? And yeah. I was like, yeah. 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 Seriously. Because I already paid a crap ton of money I know. to be able to park in one parking garage. And you can only <laughs> park on that one floor of the parking garage. Yeah. It's like, wow, great, thanks. Thank you. I like this one. Her head looks a little weird. And then they tell you you can cross park after a certain time, which is lies, by the way, because every time I try to cross park, I get, like, a warning, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. That is annoying. I think I'm going to use that one because I have the, the sled, and I don't know how many things I could use that on that would be big enough, so I'm going to put it on that one. I liked those girls, though, in there. These were good. <laughs> yeah I think it would be worth it because that was the problem I always had I going to the university yeah well the but you might not always be able to find a place either just because they say you can park there doesn't mean you'll get a spot yeah. that's the other issue so you may still need your bike the bike's great when the weather's nice but it stinks it's when it's not cold. yeah I think I'll do that. Because we could only park um, in Reno at the very top lot. So we always had to walk down into campus. And it was a pretty good walk. Because if you dare park anywhere else, you were getting a ticket. So, so stupid. I know. I already paid thousands of dollars to be here. Let me park wherever the hell I want. Yeah, no kidding. Well, and you pay for a parking pass yeah. is the other thing. It's like, geez. But I can only park on one floor of a parking garage. Yeah. <laughs> and it's at the top, no less. Yeah, and there's not enough spots for everyone, so I end up having to park on not the right floor or whatever. Luckily, I think they realize that there's not enough room, so they let it go. But... Yeah. And also the parking out right along the street outside my dorm. Yeah, well, I kind of get that because then there's some people that would, like, park their car there and never move. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would do that. <laughs> I would do that. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, I got away with it for a week. And then I was parking in the garage again. Yeah. And then I parked there for an hour and 15 minutes. It was only an hour parking. I parked there for an hour and 15 minutes. He clocked me at an hour and 15 minutes and gave me a ticket for like $65. So yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? And the problem with your car, as we've discussed, is she's got a, a bright blue um, Volkswagen Beetle that we, her dad and I bought new a long time ago. Anyway, um, so that's what she's driving. And it's bright blue, and it's a bug. So it's like, you look can, me, me. yeah, it's easily spotted. So when those cops, the campus guys drive around, they can easily know that it's still the same car sitting there without even having to, you know, look at the license plate or do any of that. So, yeah. But yeah, so she got a ticket. What else? It, you got one out front again, didn't you? Or was that yeah, somewhere else? <laughs> she got two out front of her dorm. And I said, that's enough, no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a little spendy. Those parking tickets. Yeah, they I don't are. know who the people, the parking employees are on campus, you know? <laughs> like, we see them, we're like, run! Go move your car! Go! <laughs> Hurry before they get here! You would do that with piccolo sectionals. You'd be, like, playing music, and we're like, there he is! There he is! Go move your cars! as It's around here, you know? <laughs> yeah. We know who he is. We yeah, see. yeah. He knows who you are, too, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> he knows everyone. <laughs> yes. I think they they like giving tickets. Oh, I think he loves it. Yep. Because, man, that... Theron and I parking up at University of Idaho and got three tickets on my windshield. That was like, wow, thanks. That we got those taken care of, luckily, because that really wasn't our fault. <laughs> so. And I couldn't even go, like, move my car was a thing. I think if you got one, they wouldn't give you another. I know. Well, especially, like, we, I could not move my car. We were in that thing all day long. We didn't, I mean, we had little breaks, but, like, to go to the bathroom or whatever, not. I mean, I couldn't have walked all the way back to the car and all the way back again. So. I need something that says something. I need something that says something. I'd... How about frosty? It's kind of big. Bam, bam. I think I'm going to cut it down a little bit because it's, it's rather large and I just want it next to them over there. Yeah, all I can say about Thern's statistics classes, <laughs> for him to struggle in math means that there's some communication thing happening because, or not happening, I guess I should say. Because has he ever had a, any trouble in math, anything? No. I know, it's crazy to me. He doesn't feel like he's being communicated to what needs to be done very well. So that's kind of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to back this. I don't know with what. Oh, maybe we could do blue because I got enough of this left. So let's do that. Oh, I forgot to use this. Were you guys yelling at me? I'm such a dork. I really wanted to use that. Oh, well, I guess it's going to get used somewhere else. <sighs> My brain. It's a sad, sad state of affairs up there. <laughs> it's a wonder I get through my day. There are times when I say to my kids, 
you probably at some point are going to not be able to let me out by myself. So, because it won't be safe for me or others. <laughs> They're like, great. <laughs> it's like, just tell them the truth. It's bad. No, I swear you get tunnel vision when you do this. Huh? My flashlight's all over. Uh, I, th I was surprised you didn't try one of the cherry ones. They're not cold yet, but. Finish off these ones first. Yeah. I'm not buying any more of the other ones because we're all drinking too many of those. <laughs> we're, all, we're all addicted to the Coke with coffee, so I'm not buying any more. They're too expensive anyway. They're $1.98 each for those. I know, they're real good. I mean, I guess it's cheaper than like going on Starbucks or, you know, someplace like that. But still, I don't do that either, so. Because of the cost. You can go to Sodalicious and get a big one for like the same price. Well, yeah, I was like, it would be cheaper to just um, buy Coke put coffee in it and then you could put creamer or whatever to sweeten it or if it even needed it with the coke it probably doesn't but man that stuff's expensive so i'm not buying anymore that's why i make my own coffee at home in the morning because i don't too cheap to spend whatever crazy price they want for it somewhere else. Ooh. That was some bad gluing there. Not that this is going to be better, but let's see. Okay. And then that'll get stitched around too, so it'll be all good. Let's get some ink on this side. I don't know what I'll put in the, the little front pockets, but I'll figure it out eventually before I put it in the journal. And I'll stitch a piece of fabric to the top. Up there, I have this one little pip squeak of a tag right here that could go in there. <laughs> and I have a couple more of those, actually. They're a different color, but it's not going to matter once they're all covered with stuff anyhow. That one's a little shorter, which is nice because you can still see the little girl's face, which I like. And I can cut one of these shorter too. Or maybe I'll cut another one with that top. So anyways, that is that for today. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And thanks for hanging out with us. And I will see you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.